these are our pre-coat tanks for the pro So Yeah, that's the these are, these are not finished tanks. There, there's a finished tank up there. If you want to see it, I can move it out and down. So this is a uh, small pre-coat tank for our uh, for our Pro-X line, all uh, 304 stainless steel. This this uh, this port here that's capped is is a vent. So if you if you need to vent the tank outside of the building or outside of the room, it has an air-operated mixer on it, so it will meet your C1 D1 area. It has four pockets to move it around or to place it in the room. Has a hinged lid, so uh, you fill it with your ethanol. You open the lid, you can add your filter aid to it, and you can close the lid to try to minimize the fumes in the area. This this here is set up for a sight glass. Sight glass comes here in this uh, tube. It's a it's a real glass uh, level. Right. Then it's got a. Uh, a suction line for the pump. We use the same pump that we feed the filter press with on the, the winterization application. And it's got a return line and a fill line for the fill the ethanol and to return uh, from the filter from, press. Return the circulation from the filter press. Okay. So why do you need a pre-coat tank? So you you want a tank to uh, set up the pre-coat. Your filter press, uh, you'd fill this with ethanol or, or water. You would add your filter aid. Uh, our typical starting point for filter aid is 0.1 pounds per square foot of filtration area. So if you have a 100 uh, square foot filter press, you would use uh, 10 pounds of filter aid. And that's going to give you about a 2 millimeter coating of filter aid on your filter cloth. And the process is to close the lower discharge valves and circulate it through the press at 0.25 to 0.3 GPM per square foot to get proper flow through there with the lower valves closed we're flooding the chamber and the process of a 15 to 20 minute circulation we lay an even coating of filter aid on the face of the filter cloth. And that happens every time you run the press. Okay, and so that's why you have the mixer so your your solvent and filter aid is under the filter aid is under suspension in the right. We keep it solvent. suspended. Okay, yep. and that way it goes into suspension into your press and it'll coat on the filter cloth evenly. Correct. And then the water that doesn't make it through the filter press, that solvent, comes back into this tank in a circular motion. Right. We just keep it in a circulation in a circulation loop for 15 to 20 minutes to get a good layer of of filter media on the filter cloth to the suction part. And then uh, the fill line and the return lines have a uh, drop weight zone. So you have a slope bottom and the solution exits through that port. Yep. Right? Okay. And then this hole here and the one in the top is for that side glass, for which is glass. one whole glass that goes from the top to bottom for you to tell, you, tell yep. what level yep. solution you have. Okay, and then why are these two pipes uh, bent downward so that when we fill the tank and we return from pre coat circulation that don't shoot in across the tank We want it to, to drop down into the into the perfect solution fair enough